Hello again, this is AJ. Uh, right now we're gonna show the ingredients for the lamb tagine uh, with onions and vegetables. Um, as you can see over here, I'm gonna use some um, one onion, one yellow onion, chopped into slices, some shallots, you can always also find some um, this little teeny tiny onions called pearl onions. Um, over here I have a couple cloves of garlic and this is a nice green squash zucchini. Um, Moroccans love this stuff. You'll find it also at a grocery store right here in the United States. If you have a Hispanic community, they sell this a lot. Middle Eastern stores as well. Okay. Has a nice flavor to it. About two, tom tom two tomatoes, nicely sliced. Herbs, cilantro and parsley. Rbe, we call it. And these are figs, small figs, that I'm going to use. It's a fruit, but we use it as a vegetable. It goes nice, complements the dish very nice. And this is lamb. I choose leg of lamb uh, cut into uh, stew meat pieces. There's some spices right here. That's Ross Henwood Spice Blend uh, with a little bit of salt. You can use, if you don't have Ross Henwood, you can use a little bit of turmeric, ginger, cumin, paprika, and black pepper uh, depends where you are in Morocco or the recipe comes from the also use tagine lekama spice blend my favorite is in this right now I'm gonna use just Russell Hammond it's pretty good and here is our of course Moroccan tagine uh, typical traditional tagine plate made out of terracotta clay it's shallow, it's not deep. We're not gonna cook it, that's distributed, so you'll be safe. You don't have a majmar, that's fine. A small charcoal grill from Home Depot or whatever, Walmart, Target, that should be great. Okay, well, I guess we have to wait for our fire for the. Okay. That's less than two thirds of a cup. minced release the flavor complement the lamb or the goat it's a pretty strong flavor especially if it's fresh okay. I'm gonna cover it no seasoning right now you can season a little bit of salt you can have you can put a little bit of salt in the meat Just a little bit. Good. Let me see. Look at that. Nice. The meat is nicely warm now. Go ahead and add the onions. If you notice, I didn't put all the spices. I left a little bit over here. I'm going to add on top of the vegetables. Now I'm going to put my shallots, my pearl onions, right around the tagine, right against the plate. Okay. Shallots have really really nice flavors I don't mind this combination between red and red on I 
Remember, no sauce, no broth, no nothing. Nothing, nothing. Okay. Cilantro and parsley. It's less than a cup, okay? For both. For both, less than a cup. A little bit of tomatoes, okay, on top of the herbs and the zucchini. Okay. Let the tomato fall into the tagine to create the sauce. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a nice juicy tagine, I guarantee you. It you add one more tablespoon of, of water or broth and it's going to spill over. All those vegetables are going to release. They're moist. What did we talk about earlier? Figs? Mm -hmm. Just like that, whole. You're going to have to cut them. They're fresh, they're juicy, they're soft, okay? They're ripe, okay? They will look good. The rust hanout, lekama. You can make your own spice. Handmade tagines. You don't think so, but let's check. Okay, three, two, one. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, the smell. I wish you can smell this stuff. The smell of the meat, the vegetables, the onions. Oh, I love the onions. The, ch the shallots, I can smell them right now. Yum, 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 yum. Look at that. Look at the sauce. Okay. That's enough sauce to dip your bread in. Okay. Not too much that you're going to be swimming in it or spilling over from the tagine. It's just perfect, perfect. Still need to be cooked. I'm gonna put the lid back on. It's very important to keep that steam um, circulating inside, uh, inside the tagine because that's the steam that's gonna cook the vegetables on top. Okay, nothing is gonna cook that vegetables except for that steam that you see um, going away. So we're gonna trap it with the lid, and and that's it. Just probably uh, I think 10 more minutes. And we're going to serve it. Oh, looks good. Okay, okay, okay. okay. I'm going to put the lid back on. Now let me wash this a little bit more. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, can, I wish you can smell this. This is really, really good. All right, see you in a little while. Bye.